My project for this is going to be drawn heavily from my student recital, which is, it's sort of a senior thesis of sorts for music majors. And um, as music majors at Providence College, there's either music education majors or music performance or theory majors. And I'm personally a music major with a theory concentration. So my recital is given in the spring. And because of that, I could give a full performance recital, but I'm actually giving a lecture recital. And not many of them are actually given at, um, at Providence College, so I'm really excited to share this with people. Um, music theory has been one of my strong interests for a very long time. And my focus for my lecture recital, its title is Chromaticism and Composition, uh, Music of the Romantic Era and Beyond. So I'm focusing heavily on music of the later periods. I'm starting with um, Schubert and kind of giving an overview of a couple different composers and their works and examining what exactly chromaticism means. I think when a lot of people hear the term, they think, oh, okay, music that has all these sharps and flats in it. And they don't really think beyond that. So I'm, I'm trying to delve more into the compositional techniques of these composers to really give people a deeper understanding of what it means when music is chromatic. So I'm looking at, um, at Schubert, um, singing a Schubert piece, a Wolf piece, and a Baird piece. So it's going to be a presentation style with a PowerPoint and a lecture format. And throughout that, I'll be kind of interspersing some performance through it. So I'll be singing three songs and playing two Brahms intermezzos and ending with a Schoenberg piece. So it should be interesting. It's going to be cover mostly romantic music. And as sort of a coda of sorts at the end, I'll be covering some of the post-tonal music of the Second Viennese School with composers like Arnold Schoenberg and Alvin Berg as kind of a, um, a look at what happens when you stretch chromaticism to its, its, ultimate, um, its, its ultimate usage and when that happens what music becomes and in this sense you see atonality or a complete loss of tonal center in this this uh, disjunct sound in the music, so um, that's pretty much what it will be covering, and I'm very excited to share this with the greater community of Providence College beyond just um, those who attend my recital. So I'm looking forward to kind of sharing these different concepts with people and um, hoping to expose people to different concepts of music that they may not have thought of before. That, um, I hope that my, my passion for it personally comes through, that I, am, I really enjoy talking about music theory and the, the building blocks that go into music that people don't necessarily uh, think about as much, but um, when they learn about it, it can really enhance their, their understanding of some of the most beautiful pieces of music and art that we know.